Welcome back to the show, everyone. Of course, there are construction cranes all over the city making our city grow. And that means lots of people are buying condominiums before they're even finished being built. So our next guest is someone we like to call Condo Leo. <laughs> like how Oprah. are you, Leo? Hello, how are you, Good. man? How are you guys doing? So uh, we're talking specifically about sort of uh, buying before a building is done yes. today, right? There's a lot of hype on that, uh, especially in the past. It was a big craze back in the days. You can see all the cranes now building them and finishing them off. Yeah. Um, um, now, there's a lot of things that people don't realize when they go into something like this, and they get there's a lot of little tips and tricks you can. You well, can so buying pre-construction, I would I would be scared to do that because yes. I like to see what I'm buying. Mm -hmm. So, where do you begin with people who want to to do this? So, first thing you're going to see is a piece of paper. So, it's going to be your floor plan um, uh, for one million dollars. <laughs> one million, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Per square foot. <laughs> exactly. So, it's you got to be able to read that floor plan and kind of know what's going on within that piece of paper you're paying. You're giving fifty thousand dollar deposit for. Are pre-construction things usually a little bit less expensive than ones that are all already up? The, yes and no. I mean, the the theory is you buy at today's prices when it's ready in three years. Yeah. In general, in Vancouver, prices have gone up. So that's the allure. It's not a guarantee. I'm not promising. Yeah, that, that's that's what people, people kind of buy with the hope. But some people yeah. really do prefer to buy new. I mean, that's part of the uh, part of the attraction. I think for a lot of people is they want a place no one else has ever lived. Exactly. In. You step. You're the first person to step foot in it. You've picked your colors, your flooring. You've picked all that stuff, and it's you walk into a home. It's almost like you you custom built it yourself. Do they usually have show suites for these kind of things where you can kind of get a feel for what they're doing? They do. So in the show suites, a couple of tips um, when you walk in, you. Go you gotta look out for things like uh, you, the nice countertop, the nice flooring, the nice cabinets. Look for little stickers that say designer item, right. upgrade item, upgrade, because those start to run your costs up. And you envision yourself in this beautiful place, but if you don't pay the additional money for it, you move into it, you're like, you're why is my counter it. laminate? So people have to know what the extras are. <laughs> Keep and, an eye out for that. Understand that. Yeah, and you can even you can compare prices. Like if a developer is charging you fifteen hundred dollars for a floor for the flooring, we'll go talk to a couple independent contractors and say, well, how much? For this type of flooring, and it, you could yeah. actually save yourself. Is there money. wiggle room when you're buying, uh, uh, you know, buying pre-construction? Uh, I mean, can you actually massage the price? A little you, bit? yes and no. If it's a brand new development that is just launching today, you're mm -hmm. not going to see any movement on price, especially if there's a lineup down the street. Right. Good, good luck trying to negotiate. Which is what we <laughs> usually see with the marketing in Vancouver. Exactly, but give that development the people who lined up. Let's say they bought the the the, the lowest price ones or the the penthouse or something like that. Give it a month or two. And then maybe the developer might do a price adjustment as well. Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, let's talk about some uh, other things people need to know about well, the contract. What is in yeah. it? What do you need to know? The pre-construction contract is actually very simple. There's a lot of wording to it, but I find they're 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 really laid out well for you. You have to, you know, you you give your deposit structure with which is probably one of the main things you can negotiate. I always say the deposit structure. Let's say it's five percent now, five percent in a year, five percent whenever. Sometimes I see wiggle room on that. Uh, as well as you might be able to sneak in a few upgrades now and then if you if you try right. to do something. Ah, like that. Developers like are starting that. to offer a lot of things like that nowadays, especially because of the HST. That's a lot of people are scared of. They got to offer a little other incentive. A little, uh, a little carrot. And in what there. about the disclosure statement? Disclosure statement. So when you sign your contract, you're supposed to be given this document called the disclosure statement, which is a thick document. But <laughs> could be from here. It could be like this. Here's <laughs> insomnia. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You're supposed to be given this a reasonable amount of time before you write the contract. Normally, people have been given these when they signed the contract, which was a lot of the what happened when a lot of people got out of their developments when they bought it at 350. Right. And when they closed, they're like, "Hey, this is only going to be worth 300." Right. So they ended up getting out of it because they said I wasn't given the disclosure statement, which they were. In a reason. So now time. you're supposed to be given it. It's got everything to do with the building. In it. It's got the bylaws. It's got your maintenance fees. It's pretty much every intricate detail. Is that of kind the of like getting the minutes when you buy into a building that already exists? Pretty much, yeah. It's got. It's it's it pretty much sets the foundation of what the building is going to be like for the first year, anyways, and what the bylaws are going to start like, and you know, it's strata plan. Everything like that. It pretty much has every single thing you can think so of is in there. I, I'm thinking as you're saying this, this is where a realtor <laughs> really comes in handy Probably. because you know the kind of stuff to look for, right? You know the really, I mean, obviously everything's important, but yep. you know those real key points. That yeah, when I worked on developments back in the day, a lot of people would come into our showrooms and say, Am I allowed to bring my realtor in? And, or am I going to save money if I don't? Yeah. And you're definitely allowed to bring your realtor in. A lot of companies, like all the marketing development companies, they will work with realtors 
like that's what they do. It's yeah. that's how it drives. It's but you do benefit. see a lot of people that are going through and signing contracts without a realtor. When you do buying. see that. Uh, you, you know, technically the salesperson on site works for the developer. So yeah. having a real realtor there is not a bad thing. They they exactly they know what to read yeah. in the minutes. They're going to go on the site where it's being built, and they're going to look at all the surrounding areas. Being well, what's going on here? Like they do and protect tell you what you. to look for, which is good. Yeah. Now, what is the rescission period? So the rescission period is when you sign your contract. The minute the developer accepts it you go into what's called a rescission period. It's a seven day rescission period. So if you started on a Monday yeah. and you sign the contract, developer accept it, you have seven days, which is just like a subject removal when you're buying a resale, something that's already built. Okay. So you've got these seven days to, again, look over the disclosure statement a thousand times, go to the site, <laughs> ask the sales team a million questions. You literally, you should do your due diligence before. You can also right. do it during, just this don't do it after. This is the time you just don't <laughs> right. freak out and yeah, back out. Exactly, and you, you, you were supposed to, have reasonable cause if you don't go through with it, but reasonable cause could be anything that you're just not comfortable financing. And what are like the that. benefits of buying a new place? Benefits of buying new, I mean, there's a couple of great ones. Obviously, what we talked about earlier was it's your, you set it's foot yours. into it. No one else has stepped in it. You've customized it. It's ready to go. Except for the drywall. There's carpet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you picked your floor plan. You picked your floor. You picked your view. That's a lot of good things like that. Um, again, if you bought today's prices, hopefully in a couple of years, maybe that's a bit better for you. They are doing what's called builder capped rates. So a banker will be on site from one of the major banks and they can hold rates for up to 36 months. So you can lock in now. And if, lock in. Even if they go lower, I'm sure you could get yeah. lower. Now you always bring some great pictures with you for mm -hmm. us to look at. What are we doing? We always play a little game. What are we this doing is our, today? This is our spot the MLS mistake. <laughs> exactly. So we're going to look at some photos and you're going to try to pick what's wrong with them. Okay. okay. They're not as easy. This I hope and these nobody... are off MLS, these ones? These current ones off. right off MLS. Okay. okay. I hope there's nobody creepy on the couch so this, this just time. sold recently. So do you Too see dark, Leo. Too dark, yes. I can't see the apartment, A. Can you see the BC B, Place roof? Oh, yeah, it's really <laughs> old. Oh, wow. Construction is going to be there. Well, that is, that Wait is a second, not that's the view. two years old. This is, th like that is not year. the view right now. You and have the, the giant spider. And the new BC spider. Places is how much higher than this? It's, I mean, those arms are going, you see the building right in the back right there? It goes yeah. higher than that. Like, it, well, that more is than not anything, your view. you just know uh, that a building will have gone through some trauma over the preceding year. Exactly. <laughs> since that picture was Okay, let's look at the next one. Oh, that was a good one. I like that one. They're a bit more subtle this time. I know, you're really, you're testing us. So, well, it's okay. a mess. Oh, it's a disaster. It's a total disaster. A bit easier on this one. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's just too messy, too cluttered. De uh, exactly. Yeah, you you got to declutter that. I was looking for the keyword. I mean, maybe it's a rented place, but still, like, just, just throw through a few things wow. in the cupboards while you I take just a have OCD, and I can't deal with looking at that picture. <laughs> Which free, I would never look at that place. Exactly. I would see it as That's a mess. That's the problem. It's, if you're an owner and you see that picture on your listing, you just tell them to change it or get rid of it or yeah, something. Yeah, it's better yeah. to have a picture of the exterior than the I know the you have children. I know you're busy, but... Just, yeah. <laughs> Clean the counter. Clean the okay, counter let's look at the next one. Ew, I don't like looking at other people's bathrooms. Uh, well, um, it's there's just... a person reflected in the <laughs> yeah, thing, that and that's creepy. Weird. You what don't are like they looking at other bathrooms. You don't like looking at the creepy shadow in no. the background. No, bathrooms oh. with creepy shadows are. Can we see like that one again? Candy, that's candy man really... movie or something. How hard is it for people to get a proper photographer? It's a bad photo. It looks like it's yeah. Maybe it was a cell phone picture again or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So it's if Love again, it. if you're an owner and you see this, like you gotta. At least they're your, wearing clothes. That's a good. That's good. That's the, yeah. the last one we saw. We'll have yeah. to. We'll have to blow that up and see later on. Leo, thank you. Leo, Always thank a pleasure, you. Man. Go Appreciate to Condo it. Leo's website to find out more information about all the tips and tricks we were talking about today. Very nice. Up next.